Igboho to Gumi, you cannot threaten the federal government to secure negotiation contract with bandits. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post her GC news updates. Please click on the notification bell. As criticism continues to surround the recent reports, our boss of the Northern Islamic cleric, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, over appointment of some Christians into strategic positions, Chief Sunday Ademo, popularly known as Ibuhu, stated on Tuesday that a cleric cannot use subtle threats to secure his negotiation contract with bandits under the administration of President Bola Turimbu. Ademo emphasized that Turimbu's choice of his ministers and the activity should not be allegedly be used as a decoy by Gumi to seek reckoning or make discreet threats to obtain the job of negotiation with mindless bandits and terrorists as he did under the immediate past government of ex-resident Muhammad Buhari. It is worth noting that a video clip of the popular Islamic cleric decried appointment of southern Christians by Senebu to his strategic positions in the north, along with Miki's recent hosting of Israeli ambassador to Nigeria, Michael Freeman, in his Abuja office has generated criticism for some quarters. However, in a personally signed statement forwarded to journalist in Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State, Adeyemo, warned Gumi to refrain from fanning the embers of disunity in Nigeria with his influential statement, which he claimed were capable of causing disaffection among the citizenry. The statement read, and I quote, we are familiar with Gumi's background and his tactics. Before the rise of Turimbu, individuals like him should be answering questions to the security agencies about their roles in the ongoing insurgency in the northern parts of the country. While we will continue to advocate for an egalitarian society, we cannot stand by and allow Sheikh Ahmad Gumi to stir up political tensions with his careless, destructive and inciting statement through his sermons. Nigeria's secularity has, as, as enshrined in the 1999 constitution must not be violated by anyone, no matter how highly or lowly placed. We are not supporters of the federal government, but we remain part of the critical stakeholders of Nigeria's project. Hence, there is a need to promote sanity and decorum in the ears of anyone displaying religious fanatism. For peace to prevail, it is the responsibility of everyone to refrain from any action that could provoke mutual suspicion, disrupt, and unnecessary crisis among Nigerians, the statement concluded. Now, do you now see what is going on? Chief, um, Chief Sunday Ibuhu. That is just Sunday at Deyemo. He's now coming out to tell you who make sure say you do well. Though. Make sure say you, you, you reason this thing we won't do well. You understand? Yes, because anybody who listened to uh what's it called? Anybody who listened to Sunday Buhu and Chief Adeyemo and you don't know both of them. <laughs> You're going to be confused. Yes. She if Sunday day mo don't come as I can tell Oga Yoga. You're going to have to do what? You go pack where? All right. Um. So the thing is, Gumi's. Uh, Addressing them is not really ideal. It's not. It's not okay for me. It's not okay. Hmm? So many have called Gumi responsible. Wow! Even Gumi will be surprised that someone called him responsible. Really, they called him responsible. Responsible in what way? <laughs> well, responsible can be relative or responsible for what it is not. It is not a defined. Responsible for negotiation with bandits and kidnappers. Or responsible can relative. 
responsible for negotiation with bandits and kidnappers. <laughs> Are you no longer fighting your urban nation agenda again? You have taken Nigeria for head. You have taken Nigeria for head. You have learned to lesson that after God, no government. Now you say that one, no. Why go me matter come they prepare you for body now? How do you how do you even know him? You read the right term before comment as old as you are. You are not matured at all. Okay. Sunday boho, you have started to make mouth. Very soon you'll run away. Lay livered man. Well, I think. All right, he ran away smartly and successfully was not dropped, caged, and deported to be imprisoned indefinitely. Why did it go make complain of ministers under Buhari? The North has the least many resources and the least in terms of IGR, yet not as occupying sensitive position like DG, NMPC, and so on. Please, go make sure channel is complaint to other pressing issues. If you want Nigerians to take him serious and forget about religious and regional issues, we are getting tired of his sentimental argument. And that is true. The man is not making any he's not making any um, speech to to benefit any of us here. Brother Sunday, I'm always behind you. Kumi has nothing to do with the federal government. His talk is an empty threat. Only in Nigeria, where a criminal like Iwo who has a mouth to talk about banditry to someone responsibly responsible like Sheik. Gummy, but God is watching. All right, he benefited from banditry going in the country. That is why he's not comfortable when the war was declared on them. He doesn't understand that nothing lasts forever. He doesn't understand that nothing. He doesn't understand that nothing lasts forever. What he did before now won't repeat itself again. We can bail till tomorrow. The government have the final say. He should leave with it or get entangled with his deeds. Oh, so Sunday Buhu will live in one Nigeria after all. I don't think there is anybody opposed to him. Or.